Hey guys, in this tutorial we are going to be using an online program called Place It that I only discovered last year to create a 3D mock-up of your lead magnet. So you can either create something that looks a little bit like an ebook like this, or we can use Place It to create a mock-up um, of an iPad like this showing your lead magnet. I'm then going to show you exactly how to take that mock-up and use it in Canva to create a Facebook ad. And this is what the end result should look like. So stick around, it's only 10 to 15 minutes and I hope you enjoy it. The first thing you wanna do is open up the PDF or the front cover of the lead magnet that you wanna promote. So as an example, um, let's say I want to create a mock-up of my Facebook ad checklist that I want to promote via Facebook ads. So the first thing I want to do is open up that PDF and then take a screenshot of this front cover page that I've created. So to take a screenshot on a Mac computer or laptop, you press Command Shift 4 and then you'll notice that your mouse changes to this target. So what you want to do then is click and drag over the area that you want to take a screenshot of. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of that front cover and let go. And you'll hear that camera sound uh, go off on your computer just to let you know that they've taken a photo of that particular page. So then you want to close that window and jump into Google and just Google place it. And the first one that the first result that will appear on Google is placeit.net. And that's going to open up a lot of templates. So as you can see, you can create a lot of different templates and mock-ups of t-shirts, jumpers, iPhones, Facebook ads, eBooks, and more. But what I want to do in this particular tutorial is show you how to create an eBook mock-up. So I'm just going to search eBook in that search bar there. And then it's going to show me options for eBooks that I can create. So let me just choose as a quick example, this option here. So that's the template I want to create. Now you'll notice that the background has got these gray and white squares. That simply means that the background is going to be completely transparent, which is exactly what you want. So you can create a, an overall Facebook ad image using Canva, but I'll get to that in the next tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is upload the image that you want pasted on your ebook cover. So I'm just going to navigate to that screenshot that I just took with you a few moments ago and just wait for that to upload. And then it's just going to tell me that I may need to crop my image to fit in this particular template. So I'm just going to use this slider to select um, a portion of my page and then click crop. And that's going to do its magic now for me. And there you go. There's a mock-up of my Facebook ad checklist that now looks like a beautiful ebook that I can use to create some amazing Facebook ad images. Now to download this image, all I need to do is click download. Now because I have an account with Placeit, I can simply download this for free. I think it's about $10 a month and you get as many downloads as you want. If you don't want a subscription, so if this is just a one-off um, download that you want to create, then I believe the images are around $1 or $2 um, for single purchases. So definitely not something that's going to break the bank and cheaper than outsourcing to a graphic designer for something as simple as this. Now, the other one I wanna show you is how to create a iPad mockup. Because one thing I'll note here is that my Facebook ad checklist does not be de is not delivered to you as an ebook through the snail mail. It's something that you download to your computer. So another mockup that I like to do, and I'll search it in here, is an iPad mockup just to show people that this is a downloadable ebook that they can uh, you know, view on their computer. So in the same way, all you wanna do is choose the template of the iPad that you want to create. Now, if you just want to skip 
a few steps and choose you know something like this where it's already got the image and you can just paste your ebook into this image to use as your Facebook ad then that is absolutely fine if this image suits your target market so obviously if you're targeting men to um, download your lead magnet then this would be absolutely perfect but for me targeting women I kind of like to do my own Facebook ad images so I'm just going to select this white iPad mini in here. So that's going to again open up that template and allow me to upload my image. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Select my screenshot and click open. Drag this toolbar to get to crop the image to suit this template. And then it's just going to load for me. And there you have it. There's a preview of what my checklist is going to look like on an iPad. So I'm just going to download this image now. Click free download. And that's going to save to my downloads up in the top right hand corner. Once that download is complete, I can just click here to download that directly to my computer. Now I'm going to take this one step further and show you then how to use this mock-up to create a Facebook ad image on Canva. So let's jump into Canva. So Canva is my favorite uh, DIY graphic design tool, um, especially for beginners that you know aren't exactly experts at navigating things like Photoshop and InDesign. So with Canva, you can choose from a range of different templates depending on the type of graphic that you want to create. Now for this particular example that I'm showing you here, two of the most common ones that you would use would be a square social media image if you wanted to create a um, ad for Instagram or just a post for Instagram or this Facebook ad sized image here. So for this example, I'm going to select Facebook ad and that's going to open up a blank canvas for me here. And then I just simply design my ad. So the first thing I want to do is upload that new template that I've just downloaded from Placeit. So I'm going to click upload your own images. I'm going to go into my downloads and, and select that image that we've just created together. I'm then going to design my ad. So the first thing I want to do is add a photo of me to my ad, just like this. And then I'm going to add a square on the right hand side, which is where I'm going to have the text in my ad. Then I'm going to go back to uploads and grab that iPad that we've just created together. And I'm going to put that in the center. I'm then going to search paint. And what that's going to do is show me some graphics that I can download from Canva. Some are free, some are paid. So when I search paint, you'll see a lot of the results show up and over each um, particular item, it either says free or it will have one US dollar. So I'm going to select this black free paint icon here and I'm going to drag it into position and then I'm going to change the color. So the reason why I've put this iPad and that paint just over the line is to just break up um, the whole image and highlight exactly what my audience are going to receive when they click on my ad. So I'm then going to add some text on the left hand side in your menu bar, you'll see the different elements and one is text. So when I click on text, I'm going to select add headline. I'm then going to change the text to say free guide. I'm going to highlight that text, change the font to one that is suitable for my brand, change the size, change the color. I'm going really fast here, guys, just because I don't want you to get too bored, but you can rewatch this in your own time. And that's really the benefit of these tutorials. Okay, so I've said free guide now here and on the left underneath text again, I'm going to add a bit of body text. And in this body text, I've just written your guide to creating a well th thought out strategy, setting up your ads manager, targeting your ideal customers and creating high converting campaigns. Now, again, I'm going to highlight that text and change it to my brand font. You can upload your own fonts into Canva. 
Um, so you don't just have to use the fonts that they provide. Um, see this button here, if you click on all the fonts, it says upload your own fonts. So that's always a good option if you want to stick to your brand guidelines. And then lastly, I might just add my logo. So again, when you go into logos, you can upload your own logos to Canva. And then it's as simple as selecting the logo that you want to use, changing the size just by dragging this corner here and moving it down. So there is a very quick and um, hopefully easy tutorial on how to create a Facebook ad image. I hope that's been really useful for you today. And if you have any questions, please just comment in this YouTube video and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you do want to download this Facebook ad checklist, then I'll also put the link to that below. Make sure you hit subscribe to these videos so that you're notified of every new tutorial. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.